is going on guys ghost here and today we are back at the junkyard looking around seeing what we can find um looks like we have a wide body camaro a camaro camaro over here camaro. i don't know what it is with camaros or whatever and the corvettes but they always sit over here it's like the the, the resting spot of them um, we've already did one of these recently, so we don't need another one right now. Fun little car to do. Um, don't see anything over there. Don't see anything here. Oh, what's this? Um, what is this? Kind of like an Evo or something? Uh, okay, so that's a Lancer. Missy Bissy. Oh, it's on the wrong side of the thing. Um... From the look of it, she ain't gonna start, but you know what? We don't ever know. Crank this bad boy up. Oh yeah. Nothing. <laughs> it's, if they had the seats in, I always try. You never know, you might get lucky one day and buy a junkyard. Ooh, a VW Beetle. You know, we have, okay, we have the, um, Leroy the drag, uh, Leroy the savage the drag car. We have a uh, neighbor, Project Neighbor, the Crown Vic. We need the dung beetle. We'll build this into a drag beetle of uh, Asian's um, dung beetle. Yes, that's what we need. I feel like this is our, our next project. All right, let's see what else we got real quick. Nothing there. We have a taxi. We can build a real fast taxi. They had trunk space. This is back in the day when if you needed to like hide like 15 bodies or like two tons of cocaine, you have a trunk for it. <laughs> um, I, I don't what in the world. I, I feel like this might have been like an old Mustang. Yep, it was a Mustang. Somebody really chopped the crap out of it. <laughs> what happened to my car? All right, we have anything over here? We don't have anything over here. All right, so I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build the, the dung beetle. Um, we basically don't need to do anything to the body. We're not gonna sell it because we're just gonna keep it the way it is um, with all the rust. The fender might be a little different. Oh, man, I wish we had another fender like this. Uh, we're just gonna have to look around. Maybe we can find another junk beetle we can buy and just get the fender from it. Wish we could take parts off course out and kind of buy them. All right, I say we buy this and get to work on it. Wow, the battery's not as big as the motor. That's always great. All right, let's see about this. Um, three thousand eight hundred sixty-one dollars. It's worth three thousand four hundred seventy-one. But if we fix it up to a dung beetle, it'll be priceless. The body is in ten percent condition, but. It only makes 100 horsepower. We might be able to bump that. We gotta bump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. Let's do it. We've not really built a little tiny, uh, a really, basically a really tiny car or anything like that. We've been building like big V8s, B12s and stuff. So this will be a, a change of pace. All right, so we are back at the shop. Um, we got the, got the little beetle. The little beetle that could. And it's missing a lot of stuff. Um, right now we're needing, I guess when we're needing new tail lights, we're going to get new tail lights, new tail lights, headlight, you know, bumper, and it, oh, it looks like it looks, it's got a little Herbie number on it. Oh, that's cool. But we're just going to keep it all rustic. I don't want to, like, you know, paint or anything because we're going to try to make the dung beetle. All right, so we need to go ahead and buy some body parts for it. We're looking for the beetle. The beetle. Um, we need the... We need headlights for it. We need the rear bumper. Wait, there's two rear bumpers. Huh. I don't know why I bought that for, but okay. We'll buy those. I, let's see, I'm not even really worried about the, the glass, to be honest. I kind of like the big bumper. Um, Left front fender, right front fender. Okay. 
let's uh let's go ahead and put some of this on i want to take this off that's coming off the tail lights we'll put new tail lights in everything because you know it is we gotta have a street legal um all right i gotta find out what the license plate is on that car too because usually they do like a, a, a you know a different license plate or something all right i hate that we have to put this on there and ain't all rusty i'm gonna have to go around and like try to find one that's kind of rusty that way we can get from there and yeah and we need a trunk lid that's kind of rusty i'm not i kind of like this small like bumper they don't have a trunk lid on theirs i don't think because i think you can like see the motor i don't know i'm gonna i'll have to see look it up and everything and see about it. but right now we just need to get this little thing running. Boop. <laughs> I like this little thing. And we're going to put drag. <gasps> you know what? We should buy. We should do some drag rims and tires. Let's go ahead and put it over there. I I'm just so excited just to see what's going to look like. Looking like a drag car, basically. Alright, let's go ahead and lift it up. Um, what kind? What size do we have here? Hang on, I think I might need to empty my inventory. Yeah, let me sell all my parts that's um there we go hey we can't we got mirrors too well we could i always forget the mirrors mirror because apparently you can only put one on all right so there we go <laughs> we have we have a mirror <laughs> all right um let's see what size all right there we go let's see what size these are um Inventory. Oh, no, 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 don't sell. 13 inch rims. So I think we should do maybe 13 in the back and then 14 in the front or something because the front's going to be narrow tires. Um, I kind of have in my mind what kind of rims and tires I want. I know they're going to be different than what he uses, um, but we'll kind of have the Dung Beetle feeling. But we do want to have. Some insurance and tires. I'm thinking we should do, or they're the old school looking, the kind of rims that we did on, uh, literally. Where is it? Uh, these are right here. Alright, so we still about maybe 13s. One. I don't, I don't want to, okay, it's 14. And then we'll do, we want racing slicks. 14 <laughs> and the width and pro let's see is that the width is that as far as we can go One, all right how how narrow is this because we want a narrow tire that's my thing um wow that's really really small that's like a daggone go-kart tire all right, so let's see. That's actually pretty narrow, so I think we should go. What was the tires that we needed? This always takes forever to find out the right dang on tires. Um, 195. So we need to stop buying so many tires with profile. Let's see. We can go way up. Let's do 45. Let's do 55 and see what that is. Let's do 55. After we remove this. Yes. It looks like a little rubber band somebody stretched over a rim. <laughs> oh. We spend so much money on tires. It's not even funny. Alright. Um, yeah. 55. There we go. Please be good. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I don't know. It just depends on what it's going to look like <clears throat> on here. We might have to fix it. We might have to make it a little bigger. I don't know. Because these rims tires on this car aren't that big. And the back could just be kind of wide. Because I kind of want like a low stance to it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right. 
take it and see what it looks like. Is, that, is this kind of what we want? Alright, so we have like the goalie. What well, thing sticks in there, don't it? No, we need uh, probably about a 65. And for the rear, we're going to do what? For rear, let's do a 13, but the width, look how wide we can make these things. The width we want, let's do a 265, and we want a fat tire. It's about a 80. I don't know. I, I don't want it to be, I want it to be wide, but not too big. All right, let's try that. And it's by... Reinfort, what is it, 14? No, 13 is what we do. I hope it's a 13. Alright, let's try this. It's going to take, it's taking us forever just to do the daggone wheel tire combo. There we go. Yes. Oh, snap. That is one look sick on that car. Let me go ahead and actually why it's... Alright, I'm going to take that. Get it balanced. The front tire, I feel like we need to have a little bit more uh, rubber on it. At least the height wise. You put some spacers up on that thing to bring to bring it out. I don't know, I think it probably looks sick without the fenders on it. Hmm. Need to build an off road one. Alright, let's go ahead and throw this on. This one look good. Oh snap! It's look at that! That is awesome looking! Yes. Yes, I like it. That is tucking it up under there. Holy crap. Yeah, the front needs a little bit more tire. Yeah, a lot more. Alright, so... I should have bought two rear tires because I can't remember what they were. That's This is terrible. Alright, let me pull these off. Alright, let's see what these are. Believe it or not, I have to write this down. This is so terrible. Like, because I forget so bad. Alright, um. What are. <laughs> what are the tires? Oh no, I have a. If I would get to the right thing, we would be good today. It's just one of those days. Uh, we're doing a 305 by 65 13. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, put that on there. This car's gonna hook up good. This motor better have enough power to pull the daggone thing. Alright. Alright, so the front tires are a 14. A four. Oh my goodness, I'm hitting buttons. I'm so sorry. Um, the front is 135. By 55 by 14. So we want to do a little bit bigger because I feel like we just we just need bigger. So the front is a 14. Um, we'll leave the width. We did one. Let's see. Let's do. Let's do 80. Let's do two of these. And then we need to get to a 13. We'll do with a 305. This thing's a monster. And then 65. Where are you at? There we go. Alright, so we only need one of those. And I actually need some rims. Gotta get them rims. Um, we're gonna do 114. And then 113. I think these rims will look good if they were chrome. I'm gonna make them chrome. I think they will look good. Now they ain't gonna look the exact same, but it's just it is gonna look pretty good. So let's go ahead and unmount these. Because you can't paint them when there's a tire on it. Basically all we have to do is just get the, just take the motor apart too. And rebuild it, and then we're done. It's like, well, 
we we're not doing anything else to it we might redo the suspension but there's really not a lot there and we're not going to do body work or anything of like that so let's go over here and uh, paint some rims um, I think chrome is going to look good now if it doesn't then we'll do another one alright yes paint Gotta have a little bit of chrome to it. Okay, so. There we go. We got one more. How much is it? It's like a. Is it a. Okay, I was like, is it a thousand dollars of rim to paint them? Like, holy crap, but it ain't. Alright, let's go for the style these on here. This thing's gonna look sick. All right, let's go ahead and put some tires on this thing. Um, slicks, yes. Huh, that rim does not look too chrome. Is that, is that look chrome? Because it doesn't look too chromish to me. Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't mount balance them. Let's see, let's mount another one. I swear it didn't look too chrome. Um, we're running... This one on. Yes. Yeah, that's a little bit more tire on, on it now. Alright, let's put another one. Let's see, it's a 13, so we got to do this. Now that rim is chrome. I think I messed up on painting the rims. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. All right, so if it's got that beside it, is it? It's chrome. Okay, so apparently I didn't paint the rims the right color. I don't know. Hang on. Let's see, we're not 80 with this one. Yeah, these are. Okay, so apparently I didn't paint the other two, so we'll just have to do that real quick. Look at the size of these rims. Tires, I mean. Yeah, the other ones are not painted. I thought I did that, though. Good grief, I'm telling you. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm out this. And we got to go back and cram them. I'm going to go ahead and mount this front tire here. Um, let's see. Oh, that would be in the very back. Because we, we don't want to have no big old slick in the front. Uh, yes. Oh my goodness. It's like an old rusted beetle with the... Oh, snap. That looks sick. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we got to go paint these. For some reason I need to get painted. Or maybe I repainted the other ones at the same time. Okay, that we don't have no items to work with. Let's go ahead and put this there. This looks awesome. This is really sweet looking. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. That thing is sweet. I love it. All right. Okay, of course, no under attack. All right, let's go ahead and chrome these other ones. For some reason, they did not want to take. Bam. Um... So if they have a symbol up on them, I'm guessing it means it's painted. Wait a minute, I want brightness. Yeah, there we go. All right, and we got, okay. So that one's painted. So that's what it is. Perfect. We're good to go. Chrome dipping pretty good. <laughs> Went pretty well. All right, let's go ahead. Oh. No, I don't want to separate those. I don't care about those. Alright, let's go ahead and throw the 80 on this one. And while that's working that, I'm going to take these off. Get rid of these because we don't need them. Multitasking here. We got like 15 things going on at once. Alright. 
Oh yeah. It was some oh man, this thing's gonna hook up like no tomorrow. Alright, so we're done with that. Alright, take that. Come on. Okay, thank you. Before we even get start stopped, worth throwing another <laughs> another tire on there. Keeping the tire machine busy. I'm glad we got it. You know how much money we'd have to pay if we had to go like do these each of ourselves? Goodness. I don't know, but around here it's like twenty-five to thirty dollars a tire to have Mount Balance. That's it's like and tires nowadays are outrageously priced. So it's like spend you know almost thousand dollars on tires, then you have to spend another what well, almost a hundred bucks. Um, well, well over a hundred bucks, about what, 120 or something, just get Mount Balance. Ridiculous. I need a Mount Balance machine. Be good to have. Alright, check that out. Look, even inside. Yeah, just don't worry about the inside. We, uh, we cut that out. <clears throat> Look at that. That thing is awesome. <laughs> this, is, this is the coolest thing I think ever. Alright, so we need to go ahead and start pulling stuff out air filter I mean because we want all new stuff there's not a lot of stuff to this car to be honest why is the muffler going this way for um I don't know there's really actually not that much to this car all right so we're gonna have to lift this thing up which is good for us because there's not a lot going so we don't have a lot to switch out um, let's see. Good I'm glad, like, all that made it. Like, all that was made it. You know what? We might as well just, like, just yank this thing out of the car. Motor pull off! To car lift day. Alright, pull the motor out. Thank you. Let's go ahead and throw the engine on. Well, we're missing a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's like there's not much there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this back over because I think it just looks, it's gonna look cooler just sitting there. Let's look at that. It's like, I'm just happy with it like that. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and strip this thing down. We got some pistons we got to pull out. Of course, when we put back, we'll put all new good stuff in it. Um, yep, there we go. And then, of course, the block itself. All right, let's go up here. Can we repair anything from this motor? Alright, did, did we get the block repaired? That's that's like the main thing right there. Alright, we did. Alright, so we need uh alternator. Wow, there's thermostat. It's so weird because like working on the V8s it's all different now. Alright, so we need um, pistons, but we need an alternator. We're getting a sweet alternator. <laughs> it's like we're going to put as cool parts on here as we can to make it look good. Uh, water pump. I don't think we have a performance water pump. <laughs> uh, what is it? Water pump. Water I-4. Water I-4. Alright. Put this on. Throw it on like so. Um, oil filter. That's an I three. Well, this motor's got a ton of different things to it now. I don't even know if that'll fit, but I figured I should go ahead and just buy that. Uh, we're gonna do an aftermarket fuel filter, whatever on the outside, and then we'll start working on the inside. We we'll do a fuel filter. There we go. We're gonna need a new fuel pump for the car, anyways. Um, let's see. Thermostat I three. I need a I three. Nope, there's not that. Alright, let's go here. We need an I3 thermostat right here. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sure do. <laughs> that would be hard to get to. 
you put the water pump there. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and crank this thing over. There we go. And start putting stuff on. We need a crank for an I3. Crank I3. And then we need the oh, <clears throat> the crankshaft bearings. I don't, I'm just going to buy four of them. Probably don't need that much. Hang on, let's see if we need this. Um, and we'll need three. And then we'll go back here. And forget what I was supposed to be getting. Uh, hang on, uh, and we'll get some rings too. Because um, I'm hoping it takes regular pistons. I'm going to take a chance and buy some just regular pistons. Need three of them. Alright, and let's see, clutch. Get that. And the flywheel. We have the flywheel. This thing should get down a boogie, hopefully. I think we did. Oh, we already had one. I think we did like I, it came with a hundred horsepower stock. Oh, we only need two of these, and we're gonna have. Hopefully, we can push like four hundred. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the realistic number is for a beetle. Uh, I mean, we should shove a twin turbo V twelve up in there. I bet you that thing would run. All right, so we want to put the flywheel there. Clutch. Aftermarket. Wait a minute. Yeah. Was that an aftermarket flywheel I put on there? I got. I got to watch because usually if we fix parts, okay, that was aftermarket flywheel. We want the aftermarket clutch. And then. It didn't come to flesh plate. Okay. Just talking. Alright, so that's done. This is going to be the, like, quickest motor build ever. That's why I'm combining it. Because usually I'll do, like, a teardown. And then, you know, I'll do a build. But, I mean, this is... I think the tires took the longest. And we bought the right oil pan. <laughs> I think this is $170. Not a bad way to spend $170. Dollars. All right. Oops. And bam. All right. Do I have an Isler? I don't have no Isler pulleys. Wow. We need to put something there because I can still see an old fan. Engine head B I three. I three. Engine head B. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so we supercharge the sucker. All right. Uh, intake. Do we have an intake? Please tell me we have an intake. Yes. I'm going to try to put all the aftermarket stuff I can on this. At least to get a little bit more of a power out of it. Um, we got the cams. Do we have cams? Yes. Two of these. All right. Let's put these in. This little car is going to scream. All right, we need, let's see. We have exhaust manifold. Do we have the exhaust manifold? Oh, we do. All right, put that there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, and we need the throttle. I'm trying to get everything before I have to leave here and get the, uh, just get the regular stuff. Because this is where all the aftermarkets will come in at. Okay, and then we need three spark plugs. Three spark plugs. Spark plugs. I know, everybody loves my singing. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright. <laughs> it's early in the morning. Alright, so we need the coils. We need the coils! Get to the coils. I got them. Oh, this thing should 
uh, we this thing's got to at least make 400 horsepower. I'm hoping. At least 400. For that little car right there, this thing would fly. Need the fuel rail. I should have went ahead and bought that because I seen that they had it. But sometimes some vehicles just they it could be for I3 and it doesn't work for I3. It's, it's kind of weird. I want that on it. Let me throw that thing on it. I want a turbo jack on it. I need me a turkey. All right, so we need cam camshaft cap. Put a cap on it. Camshaft cap. I just need a normal one. I don't know how many we needed. I'm gonna go for eight. Sounds like a good number. Cam gear. Just two, two cam gears. That I. Didn't need a hey, we need eight. What? Oh, son of a gun. It's I3. Mm hmm. I see. We need eight, though. Eight, and then two of these. Alright, so that's what was the problem, though. And voila. Put this on. This is like the most parts this motor has, is just right here. Look at all this. This thing. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait to see how it does. It's going straight to the dyno and then straight to the uh, drag strip to blow it up. Just kidding. That would be a cool feature to like be able to blow up the car and everything like that. I think that would be pretty cool. I know where the game is more, you know, build style. You know, that's the whole reason. But we need some daggone diesels up in here. They need to be a diesel car mechanic simulator. I know at one time they had like, you could work on big semi trucks and stuff. But still, you know, we need, we need big diesel trucks. We need it. I know Diesel Brothers, the game's supposed to be coming out hopefully this year. Like, I'm so excited for it. That I can't wait. Just can't hide it. So excited. Okay, I'm, I'll quit. I will quit. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And yep. All right. So, go ahead and throw this on. Yeah, about I, I, It's like I thought ahead. All right. How many rollers do I need? I need a uh, two idler rollies and a coolie. Pulley, pulley. Pulley, pulley. Um, I don't remember. I want to go with this one. Hopefully that's it. I need two of these. Please be right. Ah, I bought the right one. <laughs> I knew it. I never had a doubt. Never. <laughs> it's like I never had a doubt. All right, and run the belt. Now I bought two belts, so I didn't know which one went. We don't have belt tensioner. I need to start buying some more of this. Goodness. Um, there we go. Of course, Bentley has their own belt tensioner right there. As you see, probably cost the arm and a leg, and we see the price on it. All right. Let's see. Are we good? I think we're good. She's done. <laughs> Someone's fabulous. All right. I was like, what in the world? Can I put this back in while it's sitting over there? I might be able to. Yes. Oh, it's in. Woo, look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, let's move this over to the um, lift. To the car lift to A. All right, that already went back. And don't push the red button. He pushed the red button. All right. Now we need to um air filter box. Oh yeah. Brake servo. Did that get fixed? It did. All right. We need to brake servo. I don't even know if we have. I know we need a battery, but I don't even know if it came with 
a lot of these cars, they don't, since they're mods, they don't have a lot like, you know, the ABS module or anything like that for it. Um, we need a transmission, and I forgot what we need, what kind of, an I-3. Huh. Seems correct, an I-3. I-3, I-3, it's right there. And then just a regular air filter, but we're going to do a hop-up air filter. Bam! Adds one percent more horsepower. I'm hoping we uh, do pretty good with this, and we need clip clip A's every time. Clip A's. My dad on first gen had like four or five or no six clips holding the air filter box uh, lid on, on top of with a screw, and I was like, "What well, these are clip A or clip B?" <laughs> All right, so we need four of these. Four clips. Right there. And right there. I got four oh, clips. One for the clip and two for the clip. All right, so we need a brake servo. Got that. We need a battery. Hey, what? What? what, what, what you look at that. I, just, I have it. And then I need uh, front exhaust section A, and we can get the hop up for that. Um, exhaust A. I'm exhausted. A. I'm fed. It just doesn't work. All right, so we're gonna put the transmission and everything in. We got old axles. Um, exhaust, exhaust. These need to go up. They need to go. Middle muffler. Okay, so we need exhaust. Okay middle muffler yep and then exhaust I'm pretty sure it said was it like OHV or something uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know <laughs> let's see um, gearbox yes Alright, and the starter will have to do from the engine bay. Front exhaust. Yeah. Middle muffler. Yeah. And then, what is this one? What is this? We need another middle muffler? What the crap? This car's got like 15 different mufflers on it. I, that's crazy. Rear muffler. Ah, rear muffler. Two. This thing's gonna have dual exhaust coming out, and it's a beetle. We should have slapped a turp ski on it too while we're at it. If we could have, I would have. <laughs> Get it? Look at this thing with the dual exhaust on it. Oh, that thing just looks mean. To be honest, I kind of want to take that rear bump. Let's take this rear bumper off. Oh yeah. Some people out there are like, it's not built correctly. <laughs> it's like you're missing parts, but it's a dragster. It's weight reduction. Remember that. Weight reduction, bro. And I need some seats for it. And a racing steering wheel. Hmm. We should put like the correct period steering wheel on it. Probably don't have anything. I mean, something like this would be good. But I mean, it is a race beetle. Yes, we need that for the seats. Um, you know what? For the seats, we are getting fancy and putting Porsche seats in it. The seats that we're putting in this car cost more than the whole entire car, but it's okay because we have Porsche seats. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and move this over. Now, I know this ain't going to be correct to his, you know, uh, Asian's uh, dung beetle. But, I mean, it's kind of an air version of it. Uh, interior to symbol. Yeah, get rid of that. Oh, yeah. Bam! <laughs> Yo, we are going to be sitting low this time. Alright. Look at that. Oh, snap! That thing, that this is 
this is nice. This is going to be another vehicle that I'm going to end up keeping because I just like it. Look at that thing. Alright. Will it start? Oh, wait. Hang on. There's something I didn't look at. Now, I'm not going to say what it is yet. I got to find a daggone fuel tank on here. <laughs> I've never had a beetle, so I don't know really where they're located. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's right here. Alright, so we do need a fuel tank. I know some of the vehicles, like they, a lot of the rear motor they always had them in the front but again like where this is an aftermarket car you, you know stuff gets put everywhere go with an aftermarket fuel pump all right let's move this thing back over to here will it fire up please fire up please fire up oh, turn it off we forgot to put all in it. <laughs> it's again. Oh. Um. Oh, there's the old cap. It was blending in. That got it. <laughs> it's like what happened to the beetle? It went really good as soon as we took off. Now track blew up. Fastest that car has ever moved, like two miles. Kaboom. All right, we should be good there. Let me go ahead and check the oil. Oh yeah, we're good to go. Now let's let's start and see what it will do. It's running. All right, you know what? Let's try. Let's take it to the dyno. I've got high hopes for this car to push at least, hopefully, 400 horsepower. But I mean, that's a lot because if it came with what was it, a hundred stock? What was it? 100 horsepower stock. I mean, double would only be 200. So, I don't have too much of a I hope for this thing. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Well, we've got a lot of stuff on it. Wow, I jumped way up there. Only 150. Four horsepower. Huh. Not what I was hoping for. 400 horsepower, this thing would... I feel like there's going to be engine swap in this thing one day. And it's going to be like twin turbo. <laughs> I feel like that's what it needs. Alright. Let's, uh, let's take it to the drag strip and see how it does. I'm kind of like... I'm not impressed with the numbers that it made. We need a turbo on it. That always, turbos always solve problems. And gives you a lot more problems. Alright, so let's get this thing ready and head on to the track. Alright, so we are here. Let's get ready and... Oh, this puppy rip. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it it's rolling. We're good. Motor back there doing something funky going it's ripping it oh this thing is not going as fast as I like originally thought it would go yep it's we're getting there we're so slowly getting there uh, we really need to do some work to this thing. Alright, so, um... Yeah. It's, uh, it's okay for a beetle. Alright, so, um... Well, it didn't really do too good. Like, I'm kind of displeased. Um, we just need, I guess, just work on it more. Um, it has all the hop-ups that we can really do to it. I mean, but... It is pretty sweet looking. That is awesome. I love that. Alright, well, there goes that one. I mean, we've got the kind of the Dung Beetle. We have uh, Project Neighbor, which is Crown Vic. 
And we've got uh, Leroy. We're building a collection up. All right, Ralph, I'm rolling. I do like that little beetle, though. It's, it was fun. <laughs>